Sorry, oop, this is a little crooked. All right, what's up, y'all? Oh, <laughs> sorry, guy. It's been forever. Uh, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Shirley Jew. Um, back with another YouTube video. <laughs> Poor slip. Uh, man, first of all, sad game last night. Whoever watched the Warriors versus Lakers, um. Man, you know when you're just like really, really just wishing and praying that they'll come back? But, you know, historically the Lakers have had a winning streak at crypto or whatever, Staples. Sad times. But anyways, um, I'm really on here to talk about the White Man Can't Jump premiere that I attended on Thursday. Um, it was at El Capitan Theater in Hollywood, in the heart of Hollywood, literally in the heart of Hollywood. Like, hella shit going on. Um... So yeah, I covered that. Um, There's a lot of drama, but we're gonna keep it cute and just talk about the positives. So, you know, pull up. Uh, shout out to Laquita for having me, first of all, foremost, because she really pushed to have me on the carpet. Um, yeah, Jack Harlow Walk, he's the star. If you guys haven't heard or aren't familiar, um the white man can jump i think the original came out in like 2001 or something um top 10 basketball movies such a classic i think that one starred what wesley Slipe snipes and witty harrison um so yeah two decades later they come out with the remake um yeah it stars jack hollow and sink wall walls as the two black and white hoopers um I ran into Tiana Taylor on the red carpet. Such a pleasure. That girl is so beautiful. Like, I swear to God, I'm I'm not gay, but if I was gay, I would definitely crush on Tiana Taylor because she is just so beautiful. Um, her outfit was fire. She had on this, like, rainbow, like, I don't even know how to describe the design, but she had a veil on. She was covered from head to toe. It was fucking lit whatever outfit she had on was lit um and i got to tell her that she really killed her role in a thousand and one i swear to god i'm obsessed with that movie like a thousand and one is so powerful if you guys haven't had a chance to go check it out i actually did a review on it it's about um tiana being a girl in harlem who you know took her son out of foster care and decided to raise him on his own she did so good she deserves an oscar so i was just happy to be able to tell her that Ran into Absol, uh, asked, you know, I got to gift him my strain uh, at his listening at Two Bit Circus, I think. Um, so I got to gift him my strain. And then he had stopped smoking. I was trying to get him on Shirley Temple, but he had stopped smoking. I was really sad about that. But, anyways, um, ran into, yeah, saw Ty Dolla Sign, ran into Eric Billinger, saw DJ Drama, uh, Chantel Jackson, who I had on Shirley Temple. Um, yeah, it was, it was a super dope, dope event. And the screening was even better. The new movie, I know people were in the comments talking about how can you remake such a classic? They can't do it justice. But this movie, y'all, is hella funny. Like, um, shout out to my girl Riley. I brought her with me. Um, we were, we were, we were having a ball. The jokes were hilarious. Um, I feel like they did a really good job. So I definitely would encourage you guys to go check it out because I definitely think it was worth watching i think it hits hulu i think it's out uh should be out by the time this uploads but if not go check it out when it releases um oh man earlier i want i have so much to talk about but i guess i'm just gonna talk about the highlights or the just comedic parts because this is the shit people do not see um earlier in the week i covered well shout out to my guy leonard he invited me to pretty little thing in kappa's launch uh Gr glorilla pimp released her collection with them and they had an event at sunset room in hollywood so you know fucking whack-ass hollywood vibes we pull up uh shout out to my girl riley for coming that's my partner in crime and we get stuck at the door because i didn't have a plus one and the bitch ass lady at the front didn't want to let me in with my girl like like when i tell you I don't go out for this specific reason. 
is because people love to flex. They love to feel entitled. They love to just be a bitch for no reason. Like, yo, you clearly see me here with my girl. I'm on the list and you're not gonna let her in. So yeah, we miss Glorilla's performance. And it's just so funny because we get inside finally and then the whole time we're waiting for Glorilla to come on and it was like midnight. And my girl's like, you should probably ask your homie if she's coming. So I ask him and he's like, oh wow, she already performed. She performed while we were stuck outside in the line. I can't make this shit up. Anyways, I hope that made sense. Basically, moral of the story is people in LA ain't shit because they like to treat you like you are not worthy if they don't know who you are. That shit is wild to me, bro. Shit's wild. But um, I'm actually about to go on a little trip here next week. Um, I realized uh, I had I just had an epiphany recently that I really have been bullshitting. You know, I preach all this mental health shit, and I ain't, I ain't talking. I ain't walking the walk. So I, I really I'm I think I'm gonna just try to take some time off and really focus on that because I'm realizing that the way I react to things is not conducive to my mental health at all. I actually really need to focus on meditating and just you know getting my mental health straight before I can continue because things aren't aligning right now and it, and, and I feel like this is why. So pray for me, y'all. It's gonna be a lot of work, but you know I, I'm willing. I got to, I got to sacrifice whatever I got to do to make sure my mental is straight. So Slim says, subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't. If you're watching this, you probably are, but tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend because I'm really, I'm really passionate about this. And yeah, thanks guys. Mwah.